thought he would be a coach. He just wanted to fight and train. Okay, yeah. So he just wanted to compete. So I want to know a little bit about his competition experience. Um, um, like, has he fought internationally? Has he represented Lithuania at all? Has he done anything like that? Actually, at what stage? Okay. Yeah, he competed uh, internationally as well, as well as in Lithuania, and he represented Lithuania always. Brilliant. And what sport? Which sport was it? Muay Thai? MMA, K1. Okay, so he's, he's fine, okay. He pretty much did everything from boxing, kickboxing, MMA to, to even grappling. So he's very well-rounded. He's very, very yeah. well-rounded skills. Uh, I just want to know, so nowadays, are you just coaching? Is that all you're doing now? Or do you still compete in anything? No, he doesn't compete. He just coaches now. He trains as well, but he doesn't compete. Yeah, okay. And some of his students, like, uh, what does he like to teach the most? Is it is it K1 stand-up or is it MMA all round? Or? He's the first person in this clip of the region who started Muay Thai here. Really? Has he been to Thailand before? Yeah, he has. has ha, to ask, could I ask a little bit about his journey uh, in Thailand? Uh, when did he go there? How old was he? And I just want him to talk a little bit about, about his experience there and the coaches he met and his training partners he met there. He only went to Thailand once. It was four years ago. He went with family, so he couldn't have all the experience he wanted. So he just went to the local club and he said it wasn't anything that special. That, that's that. So that leads me on to the next question very well, because that's what I was going to ask. What did he think of the level there? Because quite a lot of people from Europe who go there nowadays, they realize that the level isn't actually, it's not that much different from Europe. So that was actually my next question. Um, I was going to ask him what he thinks about the level there. What I want to ask him, who's his favorite fighters he likes to watch or who he's inspired by in K1 or Muay Thai? It can be any time. This can be from back in the day, the K1 days in Japan. It could be from today. Who's his favorite fighters that has inspired him that he loves to watch? <laughs> They all started in Muay Thai and then went to K1. Really? Yeah. Oh, see, I didn't even know that. Oh, yeah, I didn't even know that. So that's knowledge for me. So yeah, Ernesto Hust is one of my favorites of all time as well. You know, absolutely phenomenal fighter. Um, so I just, I wanted to ask a little bit about, see, nowadays in Lithuania, what kind of shows are there, like MMA shows? Is there a lot of events for fighters to compete on and develop? Or what is the scene like nowadays in Lithuania?
there are very many fighters in Lithuania that are <clears throat> that want to compete, but there aren't a lot of competitions to compete in, especially for money professionally. Yes, yes. So I believe. The... Sorry, I sorry. believe there's one show called Bushido. Is Bushido is quite a big show over there, run by uh, Mr. Yeah. Dianatas. Yeah. Dianatas Simonaitis, K.O.K. Okay, president. Yeah. We... yeah. Vieną, vieną turnyros, kurį jis ir yra, kurias mes dabar 20 kitys dabar balančių dalyvausim, tai yra vienas didelis turnyras, kurias o, galima kovoti ir uždirbti ir pakovoti. It's one of the best and biggest shows in Lithuania. There's not much else. So, okay, so he's pretty much the main promoter nowadays yeah. in Lithuania. Yeah, in Lithuania, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, is it hard for Lithuanian fighters to go abroad to compete? Ar sunku lietuviam kovotojim išvažiuoti ir užsiimti kovoti? Ar yra galimybė? Aš ar mano nuomonė, kad tikrai, tikrai sunkiai. Sunkiai mums išvažiuoti, ir mūsų valstybė yra maža. Ir kažkaip su sunku išvažiuoti, todėl, kad tai yra konkurencija, kaip nebūtų iš kitų. Baltarusai, rusai, ukrainiečiai labai stipri matyti, labai stipri matyti. Yeah, it's, it's hard for Lithuanians to go aboard and fight. Because we're a small country and uh, the other countries around us just have better opportunities. Yeah, no, I've noticed that because I, I actually manage athletes myself and a lot of my fighters are Lithuanian. And for some reason, they struggle to get opportunities. I don't know what it is, but a lot of the big shows, they don't really want to give them a, a fair fight. If they do give them a fight, it'll be a very difficult opponent kind of thing. I don't know what it is, but yeah, this for some reason, they don't seem to get the right opportunities. But the Lithuanians yeah. who fight on big shows are really good normally, you know? So, but it's hard to get there. Yeah, it's hard to get there, exactly. exactly. So I just want to ask, his plans, his future plans right now, like where, has he got any fighters that he's building up to go all the way, to go to the UFC, to go to Glory, one championship? Are these his goals? What are his goals in the near future with his club? Okay. What does he want to achieve? Augenikukimorstukusportininkukuriagalietupasaulyžinukutenjuosiriai. <laughs> For now, he has one main fighter, Dominikas Dirkstis. Uh, he's very competent. He fights a lot. He, he has a good heart. And he just won European Muay Thai Championship this year. And he's going to fight in KOK this month on 24th. Oh, very good. Oh, yeah, because KOK have a show coming up, don't they? They have a couple of shows. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. So, Dian, Mr. Dianatas, he does he does K1 and MMA. So, Bushido is MMA, right? And KOK is for K1. Oh, Donatas is KOK and Bushido. Yeah, he's the main organizer for all of them. So, he does both sports. Okay, brilliant. Yeah. So tell me, see in Lithuania, is there room for new promotions to come in? Do people want more shows coming to Lithuania? I don't to... Nu, daugiau šau visų ir kaip, nu, kadangi trūksta ir, ir reikėtų daugiau ir kažkas. Man nuomonė, kad tikrai reikėtų daugiau tokių šau, žmonėms tikrai patinka, tikrai noriu daugiau bet, bet tai finansai, viskas, viskas, remiasi finansų, todėl, kad e, mūsų valstybė tokių sportos, kaip ten muaitai, kickboxas, jį neremia. Ne daugiau pas mūsų yra futbolas ir kaip šiandien. Mm. Tai... Of course, people want more shows, but uh, in our country, uh, this combat sport isn't very... Uh, we don't get sponsorship. This country is based on football and basketball, so combat sport is kind of left behind. So it's hard to get some new promotions. Okay. Okay, so but people do want it, basically, what you're saying. People yeah. want it, but yeah, but the government isn't doing anything to help. Yeah, they don't sponsor us at all. They only sponsor basketball and football and stuff like that. The more, the more popular stint. I understand. I understand. 
because we have a show. We also run an event called the Ultimate Fight League, and we want to travel around Europe and do shows. And Lithuania is one of our places we want to go to, um, to somewhere under a city, the main city, wherever we'd like to come to Lithuania. Maybe some, maybe the end of this year or maybe next year. That's our goal because we want to start doing events all over Europe. So yeah, we'd love to come to Lithuania, and we could get his guys on the show. Yes. It's hard now with the corona situation. We'll yeah. see how it goes. That's Pat. You perfectly led me on to my next question. So I want to ask him, the next question is, how has he been surviving during the COVID-19 uh, period? How's training been? Has the government been really strict in Lithuania? Have you been able to train at all? Kaip to per koroną išėjimą išgyvent, kaip ten treniruoti, kaip ar sunku. Negalim vies jokių trenuočių. Absoliučiai negalima vies, galima vies trenuoti tik laukia. Bet mūsų oro sąlygos tokis, kad nei vienas žmogus individualiais trenuočius nenori eiti laukia. Visi nori normaliai ateiti į salę, pasportuoti, eiti į dušą. Bet dabar ir uždrusta, tai gyvenam, kaip gyvenam tą, ką sutaupėm ir mūsų yra žmonės, draugai, kurie esam padeda. It's really hard time for him because the Lithuania is actually very strict on the corona thing. He can't train at all. He can train some people outside, but people don't want to train outside. They want to go inside, take a shower and everything. So, so it's been very difficult, yeah. It's the same in yeah, Britain. Hard time. Yeah. You have to he lives on the same from before. Sorry, what was that? He lives on the savings from before, before the oh, corona. Okay. It's wow. hard to come up. Ah, so, so for gyms in Lithuania that were closed, the government didn't uh, give them any money to help them survive. Uh, it's not Olympic sport yet, so they're not giving any money. All right. Okay, because in the UK, so that's really bad for me, because in the UK, the government uh, helped all businesses uh, survived they paid them a certain amount of money while they're closed so in lithuania no gyms no businesses got any support from the government nope. no not at all really hard man I feel sorry man for you guys that's terrible you need to yeah, move to the uk <laughs> <laughs> tell him to move to the uk and he come over uh, here. he already had a suggestion to move to uk okay okay bro has he ever so that leads me on to my next question as well has he ever taught uh, Muay Thai, K1, MMA in a different country? Has he ever taught anywhere else around the world? He only trained in Lithuania. He never went anywhere else to train people. He's just he's lived there his whole life. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. And uh, I just wanted to ask, um, so you told me about your K1 athlete um, that he's building up, Dominic. Has he got any MMA fighters that are uh, that are uh, prospects that he's building up? At this moment, he doesn't train MMA fighters. So he <laughs> doesn't get <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, his main focus is K1 nowadays. Because that's his yeah, goal. K1 Muay Thai, yeah. Yeah. So would you love to take people to one championship, glory, these type of things? Uh, excuse me? Uh, sorry. I was just saying, so are one of his are his goals to take his fighters to one championship or glory? Because those are the big stand-up shows. Yeah, of course, it's a good opportunity to get known and just get big. Yeah. Does he have any contacts with any big promotions at all? No, he doesn't know any. Not really. Well, hopefully we can help. Hopefully we can start helping because we have a lot of contacts um, and maybe, and obviously we know Gidris really well. So hopefully we can help his old coach. His old coach will treat him like he's our coach. 
ką turi kontaktų galėtų padėti. Būsiu labai dėkingas. He would be very grateful. Yeah, yeah, no. Because I can tell, I can tell by speaking to you, he's a lifelong martial artist. I can tell. And uh, he definitely knows his stuff because Gidris is well trained. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, um, yeah, so I just wanted to ask, uh, my next question was going to be, I want to know, does he enjoy watching MMA nowadays? I still put in the name of Juliet. Juliet. Žiūrėti patinka, kai jie kavoja daugiausiai nei partai, o stovėsime, tada tai tikrai man patinka. Man patinka, kai vyrai išėina į ringą ir neimtiniauja, o tiesiog daro savo darbą, stovėsime. He likes watching MMA in stands, he doesn't like the party thing. Ok, so who's his favorite athlete right now in the UFC he likes to watch? Who does he love watching? Kas iš UFC dabar mėgstamiausia? Ne pasakyčiau tikrai dabar, kas mėgstaniausias yra. Aišku, Habibas. Visi laikai bus geras ir žgeriaus. Tai yra faktas. He couldn't tell one, but if it had to be one and only one, it would be Habib. Habib, nama gamera. Good choice. Labai, labai patinka, kaip kavotojas, kaip jis sportuoja, jo disciplina, kaip jis veda savę. He really likes his discipline and his fighting style and his, no, he has a good heart. And yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I know, absolutely, absolutely. I wanted to ask him, um, what about boxing? Does he enjoy watching boxing or he's not really interested in boxing? No, boxing, I think he Boxo, aš boksu labai mėgstu. Man patinka boksu, aš aišku, aš žiūriu ir daug, daug sportavau boksu. Ir dalyvau daug boksu valdžiabusi. Taip, taip. He really likes watching box and he he used to compete a lot in boxing and train in boxing so he really likes the sport. Oh, did he compete as a an amateur boxing? Jis mėgėjiškai boksu užsimė, ne? Mėgėjiškai buvo 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 pasirašęs su Baltijos lygio kontraktą ir profesionalų, bet kažką nepaėjo. Yeah, he used to be an amateur boxing fighter and he used to have a contract with Baltic League. He was okay. gonna go pro, but something went wrong, and they pulled the plug. Okay. So did he? Did he? Was he in the national team for Lithuania? No, no. He was no. just an amateur. Just amateur. Okay. What was his yeah, record? How, how many? How many bouts did he have as an amateur? In boxing? Yeah. He had boxed for my doctor. No, me too. Something around twenty. Okay. Yeah. So he's got a decent amount of experience. What about K one and Muay Thai? What was his experience like uh, 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 as an amateur? He had around 40 fights in K1 and Muay Thai and... Uh, 40. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot. So, yeah, so he is, he's got amazing experience at the amateur level. So I'm curious to know, did he fight he pro? More. Oh, he could have done more. He could have done more. Yeah, but he, he, had, he had some serious injuries, so he oh, had to okay. stop. Okay, okay. Did, did he manage to fight pro or was he not able to because of his injuries? Pro for the most part. Dalyvau Austria, Dalyvau Rumini, Lenki. He had a few pro fights on K1 and MMA. Okay. Just a couple in that. Okay. Yeah. What about grappling? Has he ever competed in sambo, wrestling, anything like that? Has he ever competed in any of those? He knows how to grapple, but he never had the chance to compete in that. Okay. Yeah, because Lithuania has got some decent wrestlers, I've noticed. Yeah, yeah, we do. So, because uh, it's an Olympic sport, I bet you the, the wrestlers get uh, sponsorships, don't they? They do. Yeah, they get funded, yeah. I think maybe in the next couple of years, MMA will become an Olympic sport. And then you'll get lots of funding. People like you will get lots of funding then, you know? 
Uh, I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. So I wanted to ask, it's a perfect question I've got, is has he heard of the IMMAF? Uh, IMMAF. No, not IFMA. Sorry, not IFMA. Not IFMA. Uh, it's IMMAF. It's the Amateur Association for MMA. So it's like, it's basically like the World Championships or MMA, Amateur MMA. So, yeah, because that's something he should definitely look into and get his guys competing on those tournaments because they're very big MMA tournaments for amateurs that they do all over Europe, um, so, all over the world now. He never heard about that. Okay, maybe I'll send him some information afterwards and he can yeah, have a look because I think he should definitely look into that. Um but yeah, um, I wanted to ask you. So we're, I just wanted to ask. Um, um, I want to know just a quick. This is some a couple of uh, quick fire questions. So basically, it's yes no answers, bro. And some are just it's just a bit of fun, okay? So it's literally just a yes or no answer. So okay, let's go. Um, do you do you love peanut butter? Our next yes. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> Do you like uh, pineapple on pizza? I'm next to Nanas on pizzas. Mm, and Nanas never pizza no way. He likes pineapple, but not on pizza. No. Okay. <laughs> right. Um. Do you um? So this one's not. This one's not a yes or no. This one's like two choices. This is a choice one. What does he prefer? Pepsi or Coca Cola? Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. <laughs> nice. Snickers or Mars bar? Snickers or Mars. Snickers. Snickers. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, beef or chicken? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Chicken. 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 Good choice. Um, vodka or whiskey? <laughs> Uh, I ask He's Russian, so vodka. <laughs> vodka, bro. And um, football or uh, rugby? Football, serious. Mm, football. MMA or boxing? Mm, box. Boxing. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> uh, what's the other one? Mm, I want to ask you. Do you, do you, this is yes or no again. Do you like sushi? I think sushi. No. No. <laughs> um, I want to ask, do, 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 do you like uh, mangoes? Mango, yes. Mangoes, you like mangoes? <laughs> right, right. Um, I want to ask you, this is, the, so this is a, this is a quick question, but but there's two different answers I want you to I want you to say. So who'd you like better? Arnold Schwarzenegger or Sylvester Stallone? Who's a better action movie star? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. Um, uh, Commando or Rambo? Which film's better? Yeah. Commando. Commando. <laughs> brilliant. Uh, okay, brilliant, man. That, that's that's really fun so we're just at the end of our podcast now so i just want to ask him quickly does he want to give anybody a shout out any of his sponsors or anything like that did his gym's I'm name really where people can find him online he wants to give a shout out to every lithuanian who lives in uk Okay, brilliant. And hopefully soon we're going to see you here in the UK. And I just want to thank you very much for coming on to the podcast. This was Mr. Yes. Vadim Gridiaev. And thank you so much. It's been a pleasure to have you. And we're going to talk to you soon again. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.